I've always tried to stray away from having too many influences because I, I've, I've I always become worried that I'll end up kind of copying someone or, or imitating somebody. Having said that, my favourite artist um, to this day is Jean-Michel Basquiat. And I'm sure um, anybody who has a kind of a relative amount of uh, artistic knowledge would, would know who he was and, and, and see the undoubtable um, link and sort of similarity there. I don't believe that um, artists should be um, asked to explain their work uh, because that suggests that there are some kind of limitations on what something should mean. Uh, I mean I'm happy to explain to somebody if they'd like to, like to know because nobody likes to be confused. Uh, my first painting that I painted uh, since I'd taken a serious approach to, uh, to painting would have been, um, it was a kind of a street art approach to the 9-11 Twin Towers um, disaster. In terms of colours that I favour, I, um, I've tried to avoid the whole um, kind of science of colour theory because I know George Surat with his pointillism is um, very um, kind of obsessive with um, <clears throat> the scientific nature of colours and their, and their compatibilities. But through experimentation and time, I have kind of learned that certain colours do go together better with others. I mean, I, I kind of like um, red with green, or if I was going to paint a canvas completely black, I'd probably think of uh, pinks and bright blues. Painting itself is, is flat on the floor, and I, I prefer to kind of stoop over the, over the painting. I find it's easy to access the painting in different areas. Um, I just don't physically feel comfortable with the angle of an easel because uh, it kind of almost restrains or confines you to sitting down in a chair and I don't like that. I prefer the physical freedom of being over, over a piece of art. I don't do any kind of initial sketch. Uh, it's very spontaneous. Take a certain brush and come up with you know, an image of something basic and then I feel that it's almost like a kind of um, instinctive way of painting that I feel there should be something here and it kind of should be that colour and then that leads on to something else and it's almost like a kind of a, a domino rally effect of painting. I very much uh, prefer working with oil because I, I do like the richness of oil in terms of its colour and also its, it's kind of um, durability and I think that's one of the things that's, that's kind of moved me aside from uh, painting in watercolour. My satire does come, come out in my um, oil on canvas and my work to a degree, yes. I, I do, um, a lot of my, um, my wording that I've placed on my canvases is kind of, um, kind of almost mocking the kind of absurdity of life. It probably takes me around four hours, I'd say, to be entirely satisfied with it. I need to, be, and it's an interesting um, phenomenon of the mind, uh, how, how and why you feel a painting is finished, which is something I've never really understood. How you get to that point and you just feel that's right and there's nothing more you can do to it. Some of the things I kind of try and conjure up can be serious, but um, it's just, I want to come across to the viewer as saying, I'm sure to a certain extent in your life, you're kind of lost and confused about the way of the world, and so am I. So I try and convey that kind of kinship and have a kind of kinship with the, the viewer of the work. I do enjoy caring for others, and if I was entirely financially free to, to paint full time, I'm not sure, I may have some pangs of conscience about walking away from, from caring for people.